Welcome to the bridge, Lieutenant. Glad to be here, sir. How long do you think it will take to train your team to the level of readiness you had in the Delta Quadrant? We are receiving a distress call on Federation channels. This is Captain Galloway of the Federation starship Dallas. We've been boarded by an unknown alien life form. Warn all Federation ships, under no circumstances should you approach this vessel. Set a course for the Dallas, maximum warp. Course laid in, Captain. Engage. My apologies, Lieutenant. We'll finish your tour another time. Assemble the hazard team and tell them we are deploying them ahead of schedule. Take Ensign Franklin with you. He's an expert on Excelsior-class ship systems. I want your team ready for transport as soon as we reach the Dallas. Aye, sir. And Lieutenant? Yes, sir. I rely on your team's readiness. We won't let you down, sir. Gravity's low. The artificial gravity system is malfunctioning. No life signs in this area. Well, keep scanning. Look at this strange hole. Too irregular for a phaser. Mechanical damage? The edges show irregular rasp marks and trace amounts of liquid. Liquid coolant for an industrial drill? No, too little, and it's thicker with enzymes and trace organic compounds. Almost like... What? Saliva. Something chewed its way in? We need to restore the main ship's systems. Franklin, where are the gravity controls? I'll send the location to your tricorder. No power. I can't disengage the lock. Can you locate its power console? That did it. The door's unlocked.
What was that? We can't bypass these doors. At least not from this side. But there should be a Jeffrey's tube that leads out. Wait here. I want to see where this Jeffrey's tube leads. Gravity systems online. That did it. The gravity is back on. Can you open the shuttle doors from out there?
Invaders. Okay, that's alive and it's not the same. They chewed their way in. No, maybe the Invaders just like to drool on blast edges. Speculation without facts is futile. Why does your team leader go off on scouting missions? Isn't he too valuable to risk? Don't ask. Now we can restore the ship's power. We just have to get to engineering. Life support systems at 50% efficiency. Hey, what's that? I've got life signs. Check your tribe order. Look at all those blips. What are they? The blips are headed this way. They're getting closer. They're almost here. They're... They're going away. Hey! You sound disappointed. The only thing worse than an alien attack is an alien attack that hides when you see it coming. We've reached main engineering. Locked. We have to find a way in. These Jeffries tubes lead to an observation lounge near engineering. Good enough for me. Stay here. got blips again. Moving in fast. Monroe, we're trapped. Get us in there. Use your tricorder on the main engineering console. 
Savage and instinctual, as if they are not sentient species. Sentient enough to hold their attack until we were cornered. Monroe to Enterprise. Go ahead, Lieutenant. We've engaged hostile aliens, sir. Unknown life forms. Team status. Intact. And the Dallas? We've restored partial power. Proceed to the bridge. Find Captain Galloway. Offline. We need to reroute power to this turbo lift. The computer that governs lift power is right near here. That nearby Jeffrey's tube goes right to it. Restored. Turbo lifts are operational again. We're on the bridge deck. I know these Excelsior class ships well. I'll show you the way to the bridge. Stay sharp. I don't want to lose anyone else. need another way in.
It's Captain Galloway. Jurat, find out how he died. Chell, access the captain's logs. There are no wounds on him. He died from asphyxiation. Presumably when the Dallas lost life support. The captain's log is online. Play it. Captain's log, stardate 56535.1. We're responding to a distress call from an Atrexian station just outside Federation space. The attack crippled us. I've sent most of my crew to the space station. I hope they can protect the Atrexians. I've kept a small skeleton crew led by my security chief. We're gonna try to salvage the ship by getting it away from the space station. There are too many of them. We've got cascading system failures. We're losing the battle to keep up minimal life support. We can't last more than a few hours. I've authorized my chief engineer to try an experimental procedure. She's encoding our remaining crew into the transporter pattern buffer. It's risky. The signals might degrade beyond recovery. But if it works, it may be the best chance for survival. Gerard, let's head back to the transporter room. Their patterns are very weak. They're fading fast. Chell, more power down here. Ooh. They've been in the pattern buffer for a while. They're dehydrated and probably a bit disoriented, but they should be fine. Alex? Mm. You're late, Monroe. I think they're back to normal already. Thanks for the save. I'm Katarina Scott, the chief engineer of the Dallas. This was your plan? My great-grandfather's plan, actually. Captain Montgomery Scott. 
He developed a procedure for staying alive inside the transporter pattern buffer. Alive with no signal degradation. Very clever. Chell here. I'm trying to get the shields down so we can beam out of here. But the security subsystems are a bit... chaotic. I could use some help. Gerard, stay here and treat them until we can get them back to the Enterprise. I'll go assist Chell on the bridge. Monroe? I hear chewing. I need backup. Hurry! On my way, Chell. to Monroe. The Dallas crew are stable, but we need to get them back to the Enterprise. I've deactivated the Dallas' shields. We can beam out now. Monroe to Enterprise. We're ready to beam out. Understood. Sick Bay standing by to receive the Dallas crew members. Picard out. What happened? We responded to a distress call from an Atrexian space station. Atrexian? A star-faring people with 12 systems and 23 colony planets in the Brecker Rift. We found the Atrexian station under assault by unknown aliens. We saw no alien ship, so we took a low orbit near the station. That was our mistake. They swarmed us, using impulse engines built right into their exoskeletons. Amazing genetic engineering. They disabled our shields and chewed through our hull before we could mount a defense. The ship was doomed. During the firefight, we beamed most of the crew onto the Atrexian station. The captain raced away from the area with a skeleton crew of volunteers. We hid in the pattern buffers to wait for rescue. We hoped our ruined ship could broadcast a warning to Starfleet so no other ship would risk a low orbit at the Atrexian space station. If these aliens had no ship, how did they get to the system? We don't know. Perhaps their ship was cloaked. When we arrive at the station, I want the Hazard team to go in first. Locate the remaining crew of the Dallas and help the Atrexians. Aye, sir. Chelton Monroe, I'm on the final stage of the shuttle prep. 